I took my executive MBA in 2011 until 2013. I chose uh, to do my EMBA at Cambridge University um, because uh, I've always uh, been interested in entrepreneurship but never been able to test it throughout my career. Cambridge is one of the biggest technology clusters in the world uh, and how you could resist to, to come uh, to Cambridge and have access to this open innovation platform that is almost 800 years old. I met Benoit in 2012. He approached me because um, there was the team consulting project uh, that he had to do as part of his uh, executive MBA course. And he thought uh, that there may be some interesting projects to actually really work with me here and to explore some of these ideas that we have been uh, working on for a few years now. We went to uh, an event uh, about nanotechnologies that was held in Cambridge. We got uh, acquainted with uh, Dr. Kozio, who put in our hands uh, a basic network cable that was made of carbon nanofibers. And touching this technology with our hands uh, was a revelation. These are very small materials. They are 100 times stronger than steel, uh, higher in thermal properties than uh, diamond, more conducting than copper. And what we are trying to do here is we are trying to explore how do you take these exciting high performance materials and, and really bring them to the actual everyday use. Within the TCP project and the IP project, we have uh, decided to, uh, to create this nano manufacturing alliance. The idea is to have non-competing companies uh, within the alliance in order to create a, a collaborative approach and open innovation. Basically, the Nano Manufacturing Alliance is based uh, on um, a collaboration between industry, research, uh, investors, uh, entrepreneurs and regulators. And the involvement of Airbus Group uh, within this uh, alliance is to be what we call a demand driver, which will be, in fact, pulling the technology and pulling the research towards applications that they already have. Uh, for example, embedding uh, nanocarbon into uh, uh, the composite bodies of the aircraft or even satellites. The Nanotechnology Alliance as a platform will enable the transfer of the ideas and technologies that we create, which we generate in this department, into the outside world, with, which otherwise uh, might be actually very difficult. And often we see that uh, various ideas are killed because uh, really uh, it's difficult to bring it to the commercial sort of stage. We tried to call on board um, all the members of a multi-functional uh, team as we are taught to do uh, in, uh, in, in the MBA, uh, trying to have the richest uh, team on board to have different perspectives in order to solve this complex issue. We are talking to uh, our colleagues from the Department of Engineering, from Physics and trying to come together and work together in a team here at the university and think of uh, the exciting projects which we are obviously creating and that we will be able to bring to the uh, Nanotechnology Alliance platform for further exploration. And today I'm still working with a team of uh, former students uh, in the same uh, EMBA class than I was. Uh, Adi Elkomb, Chris Weeks, Mohamed Lamin uh, are uh, still uh, colleagues and we still connect uh, with Skype meetings and. Uh, Google Hangouts as we were used to be doing during the MBA.